guys, so today's video is going to be my July favorites. I'm basically going to be telling you guys everything I've been loving in July. I don't have just makeup products, I have other kind of beauty products as well. And yeah, let's get into it. My first favorite totally surprised me when I first bought it. I didn't think it was going to be nearly as good as it is. I had no idea I was going to love this so much. And it is from the brand Essence. I got this at Ulta and it is their Pure Nude Highlighter. I was just shopping around the What's New section at Ulta. I also like to hang out there a lot. And even though it looked like nothing on the website, I thought I would give it a shot. And it even looks like nothing in the pan. It almost looks like a face powder that's close to my skin tone. But on the face, it translates completely different. Like not even swatching it on the back of your hand does it look pretty. It looks so basic swatched and kind of like nothing, like literally a face powder. But when you apply this to your face, it transforms. It's the highlight I'm wearing on my face right now. It looks so, so natural, but you look glowy. But it doesn't emphasize the texture on your skin and it doesn't look too metallic. I know that right now that's really on trend, like an ultra metallic beaming highlight, but sometimes I don't think that looks that good. I like it, but I don't like it for day to day. I like something like this for day to day, but that's just me. I have just really, really been loving this. Definitely a hidden gem at Ulta. Okay, so my next product, you guys knew it was coming. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause for a second, take a wild guess. It's something I've been raving about. I'm obsessed with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealers. These are amazing. It's exclusive to Ulta. I don't know why, but it is. You can only get this concealer Ulta. I'm hoping they expand to like Sephora's and all that. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I have discovered my all-time favorite concealer right here. Last month, I spoke about the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I was loving it last month, and I still like it now. When I'm not using this one, I'm pretty much using the Too Faced one. And I just love how dewy and fresh that concealer feels underneath my eyes. The one concealer I travel with, no matter where I go, my travel buddy is my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. It's the... It's pretty much my favorite. I use that one off camera more than I use any other one. I love the coverage. I, I just love everything about it. But I like this one even more than that. That is a huge statement. I think this one blows the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer out of the water and that concealer is phenomenal. So I don't know. This has really, really full coverage, but it isn't cakey. It doesn't look super drying under my eyes, but it still dries matte. It's a matte full coverage concealer, which I never thought I would love so much, but it looks flawless. And the best part is, okay, out of all the concealers I've ever tried, this one creases the least out of all of them. Don't get me wrong, I always set my concealer no matter what concealer it is, but you can get away with not setting this. The only thing I don't love about this concealer is the shade range. I think they need to come out with more colors because there are jumps like in between shades. Like right now I'm wearing the shade Fair and Light Medium, both mixed. They're amazing. I was sent two of them and then I bought all of them. Like I bought all of them when I tried out the two that they sent me because they're so good. I cannot recommend a concealer enough. So some of you may have noticed, but I've only been wearing three lip colors all month, pretty much. <laughs> and that is my new collection with ColourPop. These are the only lip products I've been wearing. I love mixing these three colors. Right now, I am wearing 0 .0 on my lips. Did I even say what these were? These are the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lips. This is the trio I just recently released, like in collaboration with ColourPop. I'm wearing 0 .0 right now. It's a really pretty cool tone brown. I love this shade. The one I wear the most is probably November. It's like a pinky, rosy, coral shade. So pretty. And then Alyssa is like a day-to-day -day go to color for sure. I love the formula on the Ultra Satin Lips. They are not drying whatsoever, but they stay on your lips and they last a really long time. They do transfer, like if you see, like they do transfer, but that doesn't really bother me. And it's like a nice satin finish. Love these, love these colors. I will have that linked below as usual. And I've also been wearing, of course, my Mr. Bing eyeliner. Also my collaboration with ColourPop. This is the Creme Gel Liner. It's just a warm brown eyeliner. It's what I have on my eyes right now. This is the only thing on my eyes today. Just, I mean, like concealer and powder to cover up my veins and stuff. But I tight lined with this. I applied it to my waterline and then I kind of smudged it on my top lashes and on my bottom lashes as well to create kind of like a smoky liner. I love how this looks on green eyes, blue eyes, hazel eyes. I think it really makes your eye color pop. No matter what eye color you have, but I love the warm undertone in Mr. Bing and I have been wearing it so much, of course. Okay, moving on. So, 
I never really loved using gel eyeliners in pot. Like, I used to love it when I first started my channel. But then I just got used to using liquid liner, like in a pen, like the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. I just felt like I never had a lot of control with applying my wing with a brush. I never found the perfect brush. But I finally did. I finally have discovered my favorite wing eyeliner brush and now I'm using like my Inglot gel eyeliner in number 77 all the time and I'm not struggling anymore like I love this brush it makes wing eyeliner so easy to do this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills brush in number 15 I bought this on Sephora I love that it is short first of all I find that long brushes when it comes to wing eyeliner it just makes it a little bit more difficult to do because you don't have that much control over a long brush but this the fact that it's short it's so easy to get a sturdy application and also this is a nice stiff angled brush and it's very very thin you get like a perfect sharp wing with it I hate it when angled brushes are too thick and fat because you can't get that pointy wing this brush is just perfect for that love it for winged eyeliner now I want to talk about this face powder because it is so amazing I used this powder in a recent makeup tutorial and I've just been using it all month this is from a brand RMS beauty really great makeup line they have a lot of like natural ingredients and this is their unpowder it's called Unpowder. I still love and obsess over the RCMA No Color Powder. This is my favorite powder ever because it's like 12 bucks and you get three ounces. It's an incredible deal, an incredible powder. It's literally sitting here on my vanity because it's the one I use the most. But I was on the Beautylish website one day and I saw this powder and thought, hey, I like RMS Beauty. I'm going to try that. And I really, really love it. It makes my skin look porcelain. Like, it makes my skin look like a doll. So smooth and even and perfect. And the weird thing is that it only has, like, one ingredient. It's just silica. Which I find kind of strange because I know silica is what the Makeup Forever HD powder is made out of. I feel like it, it, feels, it feels very similar. Like, when you rub your finger in this powder, it feels extremely similar to the Makeup Forever HD powder. But this one feels even better it feels even more lightweight more finely milled and more amazing i don't know i don't know how to explain it i just love the way it makes my skin look i used it today to set my entire face i was wearing kind of like a dewy foundation and then i like pack this on my whole face the other day i went to lunch with my sister and all i had on was the tarte shape tape concealer i had it underneath my eyes like for my dark circles and i also used this on like a couple little blemishes i had on my forehead that's the other thing about this you can use this on your blemishes as well because it's full coverage and matte and amazing and it doesn't look bad but anyway i was just wearing this and this powder all over my face i didn't have any foundation on at all and my sister was like what do you have on your skin your skin looks literally flawless and I was like oh my god the tar concealer and just like this powder seriously check out the RMS beauty on powder cuz <gasps> whoa whoa <laughs> so good so good okay so my next favorite I'm so excited about I was just on Amazon one day and I ran into the cutest freaking Z palettes I have ever seen which is my next favorite by the way these Z palettes look how beautiful these Z palettes are I had never seen them before. I don't think they're new. They're probably super old, but look at this. How beautiful. I could stare at that all day. That is so mesmerizing. <sighs> These are called the Holographic Z palettes. If you are interested in them, that's how they are labeled on Amazon. And I picked up a couple of them so that I can store my Anastasia glow kits in them because I have all of the glow kits, but I don't use all the shades and all of the glow kits so I decided to put the ones I use the most into Z palettes like this and I thought it was so cool to put like highlights in this holographic kind of Z palette <laughs> but yeah I just wanted to mention these Z palettes because I had never seen them before and I think they're really 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 cute and I just I love looking at them and I think they're fun so I thought hey I would tell my friends about it so my next favorite is something I've been using so much. I didn't think I would get so much use out of this because I didn't really use the original. And this is the Morphe N9 palette and it's just their newest blush palette. I love this palette and I didn't really use their original blush palette. I think it's called NB or something, N9B. I don't know. And the colors were really pretty in that one. I just didn't really use it that much. This one, I don't know if you can tell, it's like really dirty. I've been using this a lot. I tried to clean it as best as I could before this video. I'm actually wearing this palette on my face right now. I have a combination of this one and these two. I just like mixed 
these three together and that's the blush that's on my face right now these are the kind of colors i love you have like a really pretty shimmery orangey pinky gold and then you have all of these other warm neutrally shades i love all of the tones in this palette and i've used all of them except these two colors up here at the top they're just a little bit too dark for me really really love this palette it's so affordable and i highly recommend it because it's very very pigmented and for the price you really can't beat it the colors are just so pretty especially for summertime like oh Oh, this is the perfect summer palette to travel with or just to have a lot of blushes in one so my next favorite is kind of random in an older favorites video I don't know how many months back I spoke about the tangle teaser and how much I was loving the tangle teaser and I had used it for a long time until I discovered the freaking wet brush let me take off some of this hair that's gross I love the wet brush. I got it on Amazon and I always thought, oh, you know, that brush kind of looks weird. I don't think I would like it. It honestly looks like a standard brush you would get at CVS, but it detangles my hair even better than my Tangle Teaser, which is crazy. I love using the Tangle Teaser when it's when my hair is wet and I like using this one even more than the Tangle Teaser, especially when my hair is wet. It goes through my knots like butter. It just like, I brush my hair and I don't struggle at all. If you haven't tried the wet brush, it's awesome for detangling your hair. So good, and I know it's weird, it's a hairbrush, but I decided to show you because I think you should own it too because it's good. Okay, so two more products before I end this video. I have a perfume favorite this month, and I have a little bit of a story to go along with this perfume. Not a story, but, well, anyway. This is a new perfume from Stella McCartney and it is called Pop. You've probably seen this going around social media lately or on the Sephora website since it's a pretty new fragrance. And I picked it up because it was a point perk at Sephora and I thought it was the cutest little bottle ever and even though I had never smelled it before, I decided to use it. It was like a 250 point perk. And when I got this in the mail and smelled it, for the first time, I immediately went on the website and picked up this rollerball because this perfume took me back in time instantly. I have never owned this perfume before, it's brand new, but this to me smells like Barbies. Like actual Barbie dolls. And it was instantly, like I instantly knew it smelled like Barbies. It wasn't like it was on my skin and I was like, oh. This smells familiar, no. I put this all over my wrists and my neck and as soon as I smelled it, like once it had settled in, I was like, oh my gooch, this smells like Teresa. I need more. The scent makes me wanna cry. I, uh, I know that sounds really dramatic, but when I smell it, it takes me back to my backyard playing on a bunch of blankets with my Barbie beach bungalow house with Teresa in my hand because I was always a Teresa girl. I wasn't really into like Barbie. I liked Teresa more. I always pictured her like the cool Latina friend. And I had made my mom smell this. I was like, mom, doesn't this smell like Barbies? Smell it. And she smelled it and she was like, I mean, it's been a long time since I smell Barbies, so I don't know. And then I went and I asked my friend Melissa. I was like, Melissa, doesn't this smell like Barbies? And she totally told me the same thing. She was like, I don't know. It's, it's been a long time. Then I was like, what? So maybe I'm the only one and maybe I'm crazy because two people who I've asked did not agree with me. And those are the only people who I've asked, but... It smells like freaking Barbies. And not like in a gross plastic way, in a delicious, oh my gosh, I smell like Malibu Barbie, in that kind of way. But for those of you who don't play with Barbies, it's a fruity scent. I have, I've gone on on a Barbie rant and I haven't even told you what it smells like. I'll put the notes here on the screen somewhere, but it's a really pretty fresh and fruity scent. And I read a lot of reviews and a lot of people said it didn't last on them, but this fragrance seems to last on my skin. At least I notice it throughout the day. Like I keep smelling. Barbies. Okay, so my last favorite is the weirdest but the coolest product ever. You guys should buy it for the experience alone. I'm serious. This is the Origins Warm Down Warming Lava Scrub to Detox and Smooth. This stuff is wild guys wild this is a typical body scrub but it's a hot body scrub I've never used anything like this it says adjust product amount for your desired warming effect more product creates more warming yes it does I bought this on the Sephora website because it said, I have it here pulled up, it said it was a water activating warming lava scrub that relaxes sore muscles and detoxes skin post workout. That's really why I bought this because I wanted something to like ease my stress after like working out and I thought a hot scrub would be awesome. This stuff isn't warm. This is hot. I mean, if you use a, a nice amount, like if you use a little bit of product, then yes, it's a nice warming sensation. But if you apply too much of this, like if you 
squish this out on your arm and you put a lot and you start rubbing it in, like it'll burn you. It is hot. I didn't notice how hot it was and I wanted to see like, man, how hot can this possibly get? So I was like putting it on my leg and as I started to rub it in my leg, it was actually uncomfortably hot. I was pretty impressed actually. Pretty impressed, it's pretty good, I like this. Especially if you have like sore muscles, it's really nice to have like a warming scrub. It's like a really cool, relaxing experience. So you guys, that completes this video. These were products I have really been loving in the month of July. Leave me a comment down below letting me know something you've been loving and maybe I'll check it out if I haven't already. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video, bye. Hey guys, so today's video is gonna be all about makeup sponges like this. I have gotten so many requests to do this type of video where I talk about the beauty blender and really good dupes or really good alternatives to the beauty blender because I know the beauty blender is a pricey little sponge.